Hello everyone, welcome back to Elder Scrolls Online. Uh, found some quests, which is good. Oh, oh, I'm, oh, I'm going to turn this off. At least for a little bit. There we go. Air conditioner, off. Ah, the bedroom is very weird. There's been times when it's been like 4 degrees Celsius outside and 25 in the bedroom. And like, let's just hook up the air conditioner early. Uh, yeah, okay. All right. Your help in this matter is greatly appreciated. Soon the land shall return to normal and the creatures of the forest will settle down. My help? What? What's going on here? Something has enraged the forest. We tried to speak to the woods, to calm it, but it refuses to listen. Never before has nature refused to hear us. I fear that the land around us is dying. Oh, um... Is there any way to save it? Our purpose now is just to get these people out of here. My sisters and I can figure everything else out later. I can construct a ward to protect the villagers, but my oath prevents me from harming these creatures. I'm at a loss. I'll take care of it. What do you need me to do? A focus is required for the ritual to work. This torch bug, born from the soil and sap of the weird tree, will seek out untainted earth. Let's hope the corruption hasn't spoiled the entire area. Okay. Can you tell me about the weird tree? The weird tree. The spirit that gives life to this land. My sisters and I are Beldama weird. We serve the weird tree. We came here to discover why anger infests this part of the forest. Have you discovered anything? No, and that worries me. The forest no longer speaks to us. We sensed that something was wrong and that's why we came here. But beyond that, we are at a loss as to how to make things right. What will you do with these components? Let this torch bug fly where it will. Let it guide you to the essence of Etherius. It will find the soil that is most pure and draw out what I need for my focus. Okay. Uh, we go this way. And there's another quest inside. Let's remember that. Wrong button. I lost the torch bug. <sighs> okay. Okay, let's try and get it right this time. Sorry if you can hear the siren. Hopefully everyone's okay. I'm trying not to harm the forest. Can we go straight to the spot? No, it vanished. Because of this?
Lead the way, little guy. Okay. I don't think imps are a part of the natural order of the forest. Du, 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 du. Just going for a swim. Pop up here. Okay. No, I'm not collecting the resources, even though it looked like I was headed towards them. I don't think we can get there in time. Creatures you were forced to kill. They usually aren't so aggressive. Oh, well, they're just imps. I've gathered what you need. May the essence of Aetherius protect us all. Now please, stand back. I must perform the ritual of wording. I'll just get out of the way. I'm gonna stand oh, right here. I hope this works. There. I think that's done it. Come with me. Good. It worked. That's a perfectly fine ward, if I do say so myself. You aren't one of the villagers. That ward will buy us some time. Now we have to figure out what to do next. The villagers can't hide in the mill forever. Agreed. The mill is safe for now, but we need to get the villagers out of here. My sister Johanna has a plan to help the villagers, but we need your assistance. If you're willing to help us, please talk to her. Who are you to nonchalantly walk through flames and forest? You smell of the city of stone. Have you come to cleave our forest? Rip up our soil? Haven't the spirits already been enraged enough by your kind? Uh, I don't do any of those things. I just come by to <coughs> to get experience. I mean, to help. So you say. My sisters and I serve the Beldama Weird. We have a duty to uphold. You? I don't know your true intentions. Still, we could use the help of someone who isn't quite as attached to the forest as we are. You might prove useful after all. Uh, useful in what way? My sister Olina is still out there, probably trapped somewhere between the fires and the enraged forest creatures. The fires burn, our sister is missing, and the villagers are dying. Something needs to be done. I'll deal with the fires and see if I can save anyone. Get everyone back here and we can keep them safe. For a while. In the meantime, we'll work on what to do next. And make sure you put those fires out. This building won't provide much protection if it burns to the ground. Uh, by the way, where are you? We are the witches of the weird. We serve the weird tree and the forest as our home. If this was Breton against Breton, we would not get involved. But something unnatural caused this. The forest has been wounded, and that concerns the Beldama weird. You still came to help. We stand apart, but we aren't heartless. 
No one deserves to die for something they haven't done. Do you know why the forest has become so hostile? Isn't it obvious? The people of the city of stone caused this. They have no regard for the natural world. Nature only bends so far before it begins to suffer. Then it reasserts itself. Nature always prevails. That's why the vines appeared. What vines? The vines. They started appearing weeks ago, bursting through the soil and spreading throughout Glenumbra. We've never seen such vines before, and even the weird tree was engulfed by the strange growths. Whatever's happening, no one is safe. Okay, so there's a hole in my bucket. Does this count as a fire to put out? I'm curious. It does. Oh, we now have to face a spriggan. That would explain the imps. Actually, uh, the um, Bloodthorn. None of these fires are counting, which is interesting. Like. Kicking some ass here. These creatures show up in the night, try to take everything from Mura. This one has worked hard to make friends, find people who would accept her. Mura will not allow these beasts to kill her friends. There are survivors. Perhaps your friends. They're at the mill. Do you speak the truth? Mura thought everyone was dead. Now you tell me good news, and hope fills this one's heart. The Wayward Sisters are protecting your friends. Mura has heard tales of the witches who roam the West. Some good, some bad. This one will not turn down help, though, yes? Mura will find her way back to the mill. Just let one of those creatures get in this one's way. I'm just randomly putting out fire. All the way over here. Seems a little strange. Their business is lumber. What the hell are you doing up there? How the hell do you get up there? I thought I was the last one left out here. Well, get up here and fight beside me. Today is a glorious day to die. The no Klingons are in the game. How many of these creatures have you killed? Every last one of the damn things that got too close. A Nord never gives up, and a Nord never backs down from a fight. I'll keep fighting and swinging my axe until my arm falls off, and then I'll find a way to fight some more. The surviving villagers are gathering in the mill. You should join them. They could use a strong arm. I'm not afraid to die, stranger, but I might as well do it while defending the village. Thanks for the help. I look forward to fighting at your side back at the mill. Huh. 
A little strange. Well, actually, maybe not for this world. Okay. Uh, shortcut. Just stay with me. We'll get out of this somehow. My daughter. She. She can't She's be gone. She's gone. I'm. I'm sorry. But we have to extinguish these fires somehow. Otherwise, we are going to join her. Fire? What we'll fire? Oh. Um. What the hell? Okay. <clears throat> There's no time. Put out these fires now. Dun, dun, dun. I was trying to. send you to aid us yes you need to head back to the mill May the mother spirits guide us i tried so hard but i wasn't able to save more than this single villager i'll make sure we both get back to the mill no my beautiful daughter please say something you have to be all right you have to be we have to go we can't stay here any longer your daughter's gone. We can't just leave her here like this. I have to say goodbye. Wait, what are you doing? What's happening? Uh huh. <coughs> Oops, sorry. Hmm. Okay. It's, uh, good you got here when you did. You were much more, uh, merciful than I was about to be to those creatures. Are you all right? Ha! Better than those sims after I get through with them. Um, assuming you didn't kill them already. You did. Kill them all, I mean, didn't you? The way is clear to the mill. You'll find safety there. The mill, of course. Well, if I do run into any hostile creatures along the way, they'll regret the day they decided to invade our village. Full of bluster. I don't want to die out here. You've got to help me. Are you injured? 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 What does that matter? Everyone's dead! Uh, you're not the only survivor. Uh, head to the mill. Just go to the mill. Survivors? <coughs> oh, thank the eight. I have to get to the mill and see who else is still alive. Okay. You go poof. Go poof. Oh. Okay, now the poof. A fade. Hmm.
And there we go. Perhaps I was too quick to pass judgment on you. These people, including my sister Olina, owe you their lives. I did what I could. The remaining fire should burn out soon. You did what you could, but the forest's rage has ravaged this village. It's terrible, for sure. But a small part of me is thankful that these saws won't operate again. My sisters and I should be able to open a path to safety, but we'll need your help again to make this work. Okay, well, I'm going to stop right there, and we will finish this off in the next video. So I do hope that... Uh, There's one last thing we need you to do. Who said that? You? Probably. Um, yeah, sorry. So I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you are new to the channel, you can do the whole subscribing thing and bell notifications. There is also a, a few links in description down below should you wish to check those out. But until next we meet, please do be safe, everyone. Bye.